Hi friends, today through this video we are going to learn some of the important figures of speech. We know figures of speech or literary devices are ways of using words imaginatively to make writing more descriptive and colorful. The first one is allusion. An allusion is a reference, either direct or indirect, to a well-known person, place or event. Let us see the examples. If it doesn't stop raining, I am going to build an ark. Another example, my sister has so many pets, I am going to call myself all MacDonald. Next one is apostrophe. It means addressing an object or an idea as if it were a person. Do not confuse the poetic term apostrophe with the punctuation mark also called apostrophe. Let us see one example. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? Here you can see the narrator is talking to the death and the grave as if they are people who can hear him. Next one is hyperbole. Hyperbole is an exaggeration or overstatement. It is often but not always used for comic effect. Let us see one example. All the perfumes of Arabia will not sweeten this little hand. This is a quote from Macbeth of Shakespeare. Here the speaker is claiming that her hand is so dirty because of the murder she committed that it would not smell nice even if she used every perfume in Arabia. Next one is irony. When the real meaning of a statement is different from what the statement says on the surface, the statement is ironic. Irony is a common literary technique, but it can be very difficult to detect since the reader must understand that the speaker does not mean exactly what he or she says. Let us see one example. This is my brilliant son who failed out of college. Another example, she is a great singer who sings like a crow. Next one is metaphor. A metaphor is a comparison that does not use like or as. Metaphors can be found in every type of writing including non-fiction writing. In some cases, a metaphor simply asserts that two things are the same. Example, he was eager to help but his legs were rubber. It is a quote from Raymond Chandler's The Long Goodbye and here you can see the man's legs were not literally made out of rubber. Chandler is comparing them to rubber because they are bending in every direction. Next one is oxymoron. An oxymoron consists of two words which are opposites but which are placed next to each other. For example, bittersweet, working vacation, open secret, freezer burn, act naturally, etc. Many of these sayings have become common idioms in English. Next one is paradox. A paradox is a statement which seems to contradict itself but which contains a deeper truth. Paradoxes are similar to oxymoron but where an oxymoron puts opposite words together, a paradox puts opposite ideas together. Let us see one example. The child is father of the man. It is a famous quote taken from William Wordsworth's The Rainbow. Here, when a man is old, his son or daughter needs to take care of him. The child thus becomes a parent. Let us see another example from William Shakespeare's Julius Caesar. Cowards die many times before their death. A person can literally die only once. But Shakespeare is saying that a coward dies in a way every time he or she refuses to overcome fear. Next one is personification. To personify something means to give human characteristics to it. Let us see one example. Earth felt the wound and nature from her seat sighing through all her works gave signs of woe. This is the quote taken from John Milton's Paradise Lost. Here you can see nature does not sit in a chair or make sighing noises. But Milton imagines 
it as a female who does these things he has given human qualities or characteristics to the nature next one is pun a pun emphasizes two different meanings of a word at the same time it is often used for humorous effect let us see example ask for me tomorrow and you shall find me a grave man this is a quote taken from william shakespeare's romeo and juliet here the adjective grave means serious or unfunny the noun grave refers to the place where the dead are buried in this quote he is saying that he will die tomorrow and he is quite serious about it next one is simile a simile compares two things using the words like or as let us see one example what happens to a dream deferred does it dry up like a raisin in the sun it is a famous quote taken from hughes a dream deferred here you can see dreams cannot literally dry up but hughes asked the reader to imagine a dream becoming dry and hard like a raisin next example as idle as painted ship upon a painted ocean it is a quote taken from the rhyme of the ancient mariner of samuel taylor coleridge here the narrator is describing a ship that is damaged after a storm he implies that it can't move just like a ship in a painting next one is understatement an understatement is a figure of speech used to make an event or situation important than it actually is example i only won 10 million dollars yesterday at the casino another example my sister only broke her arm no biggie so dear friends we have discussed some of the important figures of speech rest of the time you can test yourself i have given almost 25 questions and answer keys also you can have a mock test